Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you my favorite bike bell. I've actually already bought one of these and have been running it for a couple years now, I guess. And it's actually a copy. By the way, it's a Rock Bros um, bell bought from Amazon for, I think I paid $13 or $14. I'll put a link down below. But it's a copy of the Spur Cycle bell. And theirs is about $60, so a lot more. Um, it's probably better to be fair and uh, if you want a premium more premium version of this copy uh, I would recommend checking out, checking them out I'll put their link in the, de the description as well I'm sure it sounds better and just probably will last longer but I don't want to spend 60 plus dollars on my bell so I went with the uh, cheap one so let's check it out Okay, so inside the box you get a small Allen key and two different strap sizes. So basically if you have bigger bars or going, going over something bigger, close to 31.8, uh, you'll go with the large one. And if you're more like 25.4, which is one inch, you'll go with the, uh, the smaller one. And uh, as noted in the in some of the comments, there's no instructions or anything here. So maybe if you went to their website, you would you would find instructions. And by the way, I should mention there are different colors. Like I got the black, but you can get uh, various colors like silver and bronze and stuff like that. My other one's black, and I, I like the black. So here's the bell itself. I guess I should mention why I like the bell. It's very loud and it just looks nice. I think it's it looks like it's high quality. It's a elegant and uh, I think a beautiful bell. It's very loud too. So let's um, go ahead over to the bike and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, the biggest complaint I always see when I hear about these bells or, or read about the reviews is how difficult they are to install, which is kind of true. It is more difficult than your standard bell that you just have a clamp on and you just use allen keys or a screwdriver but it's really not that bad once you kind of understand how it works and the way it works is you see these two little slots here basically you're going to take your strap and it has two little kind of heads on them there and it's going to go inside there and then push back now you wrap it around your bar wherever you want it installed and clip this part into the other one now it'll be a bit loose at first, but then you use this Allen key on the top to tighten it up. So I haven't done it in a while. Let's see if I can still kind of remember how to do it. Looks like I'll have two different choices of mounting. I could put it up here or I could put it on the stem. I think I might actually go for the stem mount. That's what I had on my other bike, but it had a smaller stem. So let's go ahead and give it a shot and see real time how difficult it is for me, even though I've done it a few times in the past. It's a little harder right now because uh, the phone, the camera that is, is right in the way. But um, let's see if we can figure it out anyway. Yeah, it's kind of a trick because you want to keep this in here without falling out. So you got to kind of have pressure on it. Wrap that around. I could, you know what I'll do to make it a little bit easier? I'm going to take this off. Um, yeah, so stick that in, wrap it around, then I'll just be able to look at it like this. That's what I'm hoping. And then I'll spin it once I get it, it mounted. Okay, now I'm kind of, you get kind of blind, you get kind of blind once you get down to it because and I'm sorry if my fingers are in the way because uh, there's just not much, you can't really see too well. It is kind of hard, to be fair. And I've, and I've even done this before, so. It definitely isn't the easiest one. It's almost there. There, I think I got it. Yep, 
it's in there. Um, let me see if I can zoom in, if you can. Perhaps see what's going on there. I got that one clipped in. That wasn't easy, and really it was kind of just a matter of of uh, hoping, just kind of pushing and, you know, hoping that it gets clipped in there because I really couldn't see with my eyes uh, what was going on. So now it's on there, as you can see. It's still a bit loose, so um, I'm going to use this provided Allen key. I guess we can bring you back a bit. Um, and I'm going to tighten it down. Just standard direction. So it's, it's basically pushing down and pulling the belt up, I believe. That's making the whole entire system tighter. Now it did come with this, uh, this, and it feels like maybe it's a, a rubber pad that you can protect your stem with, but my God, that would be so difficult to put on there. And honestly, like I did the same, I did the same thing, but with a, uh, an aluminum stem, um, like a smaller aluminum stem on a quill, quill bike. And I never had any problems. Like it didn't, it didn't mark it or anything. So, I mean, maybe if you move it around a lot, like I just did, but <laughs> I think it'll be fine. So maybe like that. Now it's getting pretty, pretty tight. You don't want to overdo it, obviously, and break anything. But you know, just pretty snug. Okay, let's try it. I don't know if it, you know, how it hear, sounds on the video, but it's very loud in, in real life. It's probably the loudest bell I've ever had. And now I can, sorry about the shaking, I can stick my light back on and there we go. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.